Hello lovelies, welcome to Nightcore Formula, my name's Freedom, thank you for joining me. Today I have Val from Toxic Free, hi Val, hi darling, uh, with me and we are going over the uh, emails and text messages that we received just recently from uh, David DeMar's um, flying monkey, Erica Valerie. Uh, she was a huge David DeMar's fan um, to the point where she was acting like a flying monkey on, on his behalf, coming to everyone's channels, telling us that we were all wrong, etc. But after spending roughly a month or so kind of talking and texting privately with David, she realised that the David that um, we see on his channel, on Demar's coaching, is not the same person as the private David and she has put forward her emails and texts for us to go through. So that is interesting. Let's go into these. So my plan is devious but legal. If Val isn't stopped in the next few days, I will go forward with it. My friend is speaking with authorities in Val's area in the next 24 hours. Um, I've sent screenshots of people that communicate with Val. Sorry, I'm just going to have to add a few words here and there because David can't actually Not communicate. Dangerous. So communicate Val and support her. Give me death threats. Um, Val has also attacked me on my website and Facebook professional page. No, it was a review as far as I remember. I didn't attack him. Yeah. I don't attack. I've never attacked. Right. So they will start investigating it, but they've already said it looks like he, she'll be charged just by looking at both our channels. Oh, my God. I have... No policeman is going to sit and watch somebody's channels. One no. video is on one, video is on another, and waste time watching two people play ping pong. It's not going to happen. So that's a lie. I have spoke to police this week, and I'll go into more detail with that in a minute. And I had difficulty because they actually said, no, there's nothing that we can do, which I appreciate because... Uh, David is in America, that it's going to be very difficult to do anything. Only if he was in, in England could they do something. So that would also apply to David's side. Oh, here's his plan, sorry. All right, here's David's big plan. I approach Val via email as Kari Dempe and tell her I dated David DeMars years ago and that I still hate him. Um, in our conversations, I will state that Kari is schizophrenic and an ex-drug addict. I will also tell her Kari's husband wants to kill me. I will also tell her that I will leave a statement about the abusive relationship she had with me. But I will tell her that I'm going to make up some of it, like lie and say that I hit her all the time. Hopefully Val will also add some of her own incriminating stuff. Val makes the video about it and I record it and then I make my own video exposing Val telling all of them it was really me or someone I know and Kari Dempe really is Carpe Diem seize the day right. oh Val I gotta laugh seriously darling this man I just want to say that this is the kind of stuff that David does that people don't see on his half an hour uh, videos this is what he does and I'm so thankful. I'm gonna say thank you to Erica now for letting us have these from her private messages between her and David. Um, this is deceitful. It's basically entrapment. It's it's a con, it's fake. Um, to actually it's pretending to be somebody else who's a victim of David, who's been beaten up and who's gonna, you know, the husband's going to kill him and then I'm supposed to reply in a certain way and then he's going to use that against me. I mean, how he ever thinks that would actually work because just Talk about fantasy it, world. What a little He's fantasy. living in a fantasy world. Can you um, imagine him even thinking like this? You know, oh, and I said this and then I did that and then I came out as the hero and I said, Carpe Diem. <laughs> oh, Seriously, you know, I, I, I know people are probably thinking, oh, not on the video. I, this is ridiculous. This stuff is ridiculous and it's on behind the scenes. So, I mean, this is the kind of stuff he does with just Erica. Can you imagine the amount of people? He also asked Sean, his mother, to um, fake accounts and, to and, and troll me. Fake he also wanted me to she, wanted to, she was asked to review my business page and say that she'd had a bad haircut so that my business ratings went down because he wants to destroy me. This yeah. is what he does behind the scenes. And this is why I've always said that he's smearing me. And he's always saying it's very, very clever because he doesn't smear me except dog whistle on his videos. And this is what he does behind the scenes. 
And I just think it's so funny. So like, deceitful. But it's just like, seriously, how crazy is this man? He's fantasizing about, like I said, creating this thing. He's just been watching far too much television, right? Yeah. And like, even just him sitting there thinking, oh, what will I call, what name will I give this character? You know, and then an anagram, creating, the creating an anagram. Oh my god! If David's watching this, he should be ashamed of himself. Oh, David, you're embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. Fifty years this old, making up anagrams of Carpe Diem to troll someone like Jesus. You know, and this is the other thing. Just quickly, Val has evidence um, where from previous uh, accounts where David has made up. Um, different yeah. profiles on YouTube and sent messages to people, left comments, done all kinds of things. She caught him out, and we'll link that here because she caught him I'll out. I'll also before. do a video on that. Mm -hmm. Here he is talking about doing it again, literally publicly talking about it to some woman that he has met on the internet. Like the man is an absolute, he's a clown. There's, he's just embarrassing. Like, let me see, let's just keep reading this because it's just so ridiculous. Carpe diem.